This lesson, we're going to be showing you how you can apply styling to the text content in a doc. So there's going to be two examples. One is going to be creating and appending a new paragraph. And so this paragraph will just say test and hello world. This will be added to the end of the text. And it's going to also apply styling to it. So we've got a styling object using the document app attributes. So background color, border color, horizontal alignment, font family, font size, and bold. So we're going to set that to be bold and show it. So let's run that first function first. And so that added in with a green background, the hello world. You can also add and select existing text. So if we want the entire doc object to edit as text, we can use the selecting the using the document app, getting the active document and edit as text. We'll create it as a text object. And with a text object, you can set attributes to that text object. So we're setting it as a variable called doc. And then you're using the doc object and inserting text to it. So we're adding text at position zero. And then you can change this as well to position it anywhere within the existing text. So now we're going to be starting at position 50. And then this is the text that's going to be added in. That text that we've added, we also have an option as we're setting the attributes, we can set a starting position and an ending position of what we want to apply the styling to. So let's save that and we'll run the second function. And this one is going to add in the text to our existing text. And it's going to also be highlighting the first 40 characters, setting the attribute to whatever this highlight attribute is. So you can set it to any value and update. So if we want to update the background colors and then upgrade the border colors, you can do that as well. And we'll run it one more time. So this time it applied the styling to this block of text that it selected. And that's the existing text. So you don't have to add text, but this was just an example of inserting new text within the doc using Google Apps Script. Let's go over to your Google Drive, create a brand new doc document that you can use for this example. So I've created the brand new document. And here I'm just going to call it test one. So let's add in some text. And I'll just add in my name. And we'll multiply that name. So we'll have some text here that we can make use of and select with our Google Apps script. And maybe we want to set one as a heading. And let's uh, update the text. And we're going to reset the styles back to the default styles. So when we want to select the text and use the Google Apps script, you can go under Tools and select the script editor. That's going to open up the Apps Script Editor interface online, connecting it to the app to the Google Doc using it as a bound script. So I'll give it a name that's going to correspond with the Google Sheet as test one. And within test one, what we want to do is we want to select the active document. So let's uh, get the doc using the document app class. And then the get active document as this is bound. And then we want to edit it as text. So let's uh, output into the log and we'll take a look at what object that we have for the doc. And I'll give the function a name of my doc test. So let's run the function. We're going to have to accept the permissions as we're going to be interacting with the doc coming from the script. So go through the accepting the permissions under advanced and then go through and confirm the permissions that you want to set to the application that you want to set it to. So it's going to list out the application name. So this one was named test one. And that's also how you can identify it within the my account.google.com permissions. If you want to do, if you want to remove 
the content. So we're getting it as text. So within the doc object, so now this is a text format, we can insert text into the object and then we're position where we want to start. And this is where we, the character offset at which we want to insert. So let's set it to zero and let's add in the word hello world. And you can also add in line breaks as well. So run the code one more time and we'll see what happens. So when we go back to the doc, we've added in this text here, that's the hello world text. And if we want to apply some attributes to it, so let's set some values that we can use. And let's say this uh, high light text, and this is gonna be an object format. And then within the, I'll just call it H text to shorten that. So this is gonna be the object for the styling object that we want to use and adding to it. So setting a property that we need and using the document app attributes and the attribute that we wanna set, let's do the background color. So what do we want to set the background color to? And you can use a hex value for the color. So I believe this is gonna be red within hex. And you can also set other properties for the text, so within the document app, and then the property that you wanna set. So if you want it to do a border color, and let's uh, do a separate border color for this. So it's gonna be a different color. And now if you wanna apply it to the content that you've just added, you can assign a value to it. So let's do doc one. And this is gonna reference the doc object and where we're inserting the text. And you could also chain these together so that once we have the object as doc one, we can set an attribute. So we can set attributes to it. And the attributes are gonna be specific so each property where we wanna apply the attributes, there's a, within the pop-up, they're gonna give you some examples of some of the attributes that you can apply. So just as kind of what we've done here, you can also copy these as well and apply these. So I just called the object the H text, but of course you could call it style and you can have multiple styles within that object format as well. So within the attributes, so starting position where we want to add the attribute to and add it start ending at character four and then the object for the style that we want to add to the element object let's run it and see what happens so that what that highlighted is the first four characters that we added to the page so starting at zero ending at four and applied the highlight attribute to it. Let's uh, try another function. And this function can just be to add some uh, paragraph. And I'll just call it adder, and we can run that function. So let's select the document object again, so the active doc. And then the object within the doc that we want to use, and that's gonna be the body, so body, and we can use the get body method in order to get the body. And then if we want to append a paragraph to the body, we can do body and append paragraph to the body. And then whatever text we want, I'll just type out test into the text. And for the para, we can also set the attributes. So just as we did for the text that we just added, we have an option to set attributes. And here we can specify that we want to set the H text there. Let's uh, run the adder. And so now that's adding 
the test to the end. So every time you run it, it's going to add new text to the end, and it's going to apply the styling to that page element. So that's how you can apply styling. You can select existing content on the page. You can also add content to the page, and then you can update the styling, and you can have multiple styling objects that can be applied to the page content.